What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the craziness that is going on right now in the stock market with about 42 minutes left to market open on the 13th of May in 2019. We're going to be talking about some new news regarding the trade war that just came out from China's side and my whole opinion, my whole thought process and mindset going into to this in terms of me trading stocks. What stocks am I personally watching? What stocks am I looking to trade? And we're also going to take a look very quickly at how the overall stock market in terms of individual stocks here is reacting to this news that we got from China, guys. So let's just start off with the futures right now. The S&P 500 future here is down about 55 points nearly, down about 1.9% here in the pre-market session. The NASDAQ future, it's down about 2.5% here, down about $195 and dropping, guys. The Dow Jones, if I pull it up on my phone very quickly and refresh, it's down about 480 points right now, down about 1.9%. This is one of the ugliest pre-markets that I've personally seen here over the past couple of weeks in the stock market, probably since that whole October to December sell-off that we experienced a couple months ago. So what ended up happening to cause this big drop-off, right? We all know last week Trump raised tariffs on China from 10% to 25%, right? That's kind of old news. The market was reacting very, very strongly to that. You know, the VIX, the uh, volatility index was going crazy. The markets were going up and down, ended up selling off pretty decently last week. And we were kind of waiting. I personally was waiting for a retaliation from China or, or waiting to see if they were going to retaliate, right? Because China pump, pumped up these tariffs, or uh, US pumped up these tariffs. I wanted to see maybe China does something, right? And if China were to do something, this can react or affect the stock market in a very negative way as well. And what do we know, guys? Today, literally after I was talking about it, after the community, was talking about it last week. Today, we got news that China is retaliating. So let's go over here very quickly. And this is a, 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 a Twitter thread from Trump this morning trying to, you know, explain why um, the tariffs are actually good for the U.S., yada, yada, yada. You know, you could read through this if you want. But going over here, this is the good stuff here. China is raising tariffs on 60 billion of U.S. goods starting on June 1st. So China will raise tariffs, just like I said, 60 billion dollars in retaliation to the U.S. to hike on Chinese goods. Okay, Beijing will increase the tariffs to 25% from 10%, so very similar fashion to what Trump did. The Chinese finance ministry said on Monday, it follows Donald Trump's decision to raise duties on $200 billion in Chinese products from the same 10% to 25%. The two world's largest economies continue to struggle to ink a trade deal guys. So this is absolutely unbelievable here. So the gist of it is China retaliated with raising the tariffs of their own on U.S. really to affect the uh, U.S. goods, right? This is absolutely unbelievable. And going back over here to Donald Trump, Again, he was trying to kind of play down the situation saying, uh, you know, if China retaliates, it's going to get worse, right? There will be nobody left in China to do business with. Very bad for China, right? If they don't get a deal, you know, completely avoided. If you buy from a non-tariff country or you buy the product inside the U.S., okay, okay, okay. Just read through this whole thread here. This was sent literally. My phone was blowing up this morning because, again, I have Trump on notifications. Don't want to read into that because that will take uh, a couple minutes here on the video and I kind of want this to be a quicker to the point video so what we need to know is China raised tariffs they retaliated the market is acting very very um 
negatively to this, right? Take a look at all of these uh, charts that we're looking at. The NQ, it's looking terrible. It's looking like a falling knife. We've been breaking support after support down to the downside here. Uh, the YM here, the Dow Jones, this is the future. Very similar pattern, right? Falling knife, lower lows, lower highs, downtrending, descending pattern. The ES is very much of the same, right? We broke, uh, you know, supports after support after support, lower lows, lower highs. You know, we're about to get a bearish cross here, the 50 SMA crossing below the 180 SMA. So how is this going to affect stocks, guys? Well, I personally think we're going to be in a similar situation to back during the October to December phase here where the trade war and the negotiations were uh, kind of escalating, right? And at this point, with both countries jacking up tariffs, this is really getting into a nitty-gritty, ugly trade trade war, right? Trump's fighting, um, you know, President Xi's fighting. This is not good, guys. And until my, in my personal opinion, until there is a trade deal done, if there is a trade deal done, who knows, right? There are rumors that, you know, China's waiting until the next election so Trump could potentially be out, right? So they can maybe you know, deal with a new Democratic person, a new Republican person in terms of the office to make a deal with. You know, there's a lot of rumors out there, but until there is a deal, I think, you know, there's going to be a bunch more volatility in the stock market, right? I think, you know, a bunch of these large caps, they're going to be hit, especially if the market continues to go down. And I'm just being very cautious, right? I'm on record saying last week that I'm literally all cash right now in my trade trading portfolio, right? I took a loss in Google last week, took a loss in Facebook. I took a mini little profit on Procter & Gamble, and I'm literally just all cash right now because markets like this, they're very difficult to swing trade, right? Because the trend when the, the trend's down like it is now, it's not really in your favor to swing trade, which is why I'm mostly looking to day trade, you know, TVIX, volatility, potentially some bull gold gold ETFs here because gold is, excuse me, looking like it's breaking out here, right? Typically gold does good in uh, time periods like this. We can see gold is looking to break out, right? So in terms of gold, uh, this is the number one that I'm personally watching, or I guess you can say number two that I am watching here for a potential day trade. JNOG is a bull ETF that goes up whenever gold is going up. This could be a very good play here. TVIX as well is a volatility ETF that I trade, right? Ticker symbol TVIX. It does very well when the markets are going down and going down quick, right? Which is why you can see it's at $28 per share right now where it, where it ended up closing at $23 per share this past week. So I'm keeping an eye on these two. And let's take a look very quickly at some large caps, especially the, the big large caps, right, that are being affected today. Let's see how badly they're being affected. So Apple stock, which kind of had a pretty big comeback when the market sold off or came back rather aggressively this past week where you can see it here right they, they ended up selling off Apple did came back aggressively as the markets were doing well but now we're seeing a sell off deep into um you know uh, the, the high 180s we cracked 190 guys that's how Apple's getting hit they're getting hit pretty bad they're down about 4 or 5% right now if we're going over here to Facebook guys guys. You know, Facebook's down to $183 per share right now. You know, Google's down to about $1140. So you guys can kind of see why I ended up just taking a mini loss on Facebook and Google because I was anticipating something like this happening. It's all about mitigating your risk and understanding where the markets could potentially push based off of, you know, current economic market situations when it, which in this case are the trade deal the trade war i thought okay the trade deal the trade war this can cause a lot of volatility in the markets especially after we got that tweet from trump last sunday so i figured okay maybe taking a little loss on google and facebook would help me in preserving capital with the the downside risk 
that is in the market right now. And that served me right, guys, because if I were to hold Facebook and Google at this point, right, Facebook, I was in at around 193, I'd be down literally $10 per share that would not be looking too hot right so facebook's down pretty big you know amazon i can assume you know the same right we're down to 1830 oh my goodness guys that's absolutely crazy down about 100 in points from that 1963 peak um let's take a look at some other big ones here microsoft is down probably 124 that's not actually as bad as some of the other ones that's only down about two three percent and if you want to see how some other companies are getting hit like some of the uh, value plays out there let's say like coca-cola these aren't getting hit as bad right coca-cola you know this is deemed as a safer quote unquote investment, right? When markets are volatile, a lot of times people camp their money into, um, you know, stocks like this, right? KO, for example, right? Like J&J, &J. these are stocks that people camp and feel or camp their money and they feel safe when their money is in these. So let's see some other ones, you know, maybe, uh, you know, cat, maybe not cats probably doing bad. Yeah. Because industrials typically get hit, especially during trade war stuff. So, uh, BA, doing very bad as well so that's just a couple of uh you know stocks and how they're performing and my personal outlook guys just to wrap it up here i think volatility will continue i think um you know, there isn't going to be a deal, right? I think there's going to be back and forth for a couple weeks, months, whatever. I think the market is going to be, you know, at risk to further downside because of this. Those are just my personal opinions. So what do you guys think about this, right? I would love to know what your opinions are on this. Drop a comment down below. What are you looking to trade today? Are you just sitting in cash? Are you waiting for um, a reversal? Do you think the markets are going to push back up? Let me know. So if you enjoy the video, feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that I do make a video. I'll catch you all in the video later today where we're going to be wrapping up up and talking about the mayhem at the close of the market that probably will continue to occur throughout the day today. So I'll catch you all in that video. Good luck today. I'll chat with you in the group chat, Strive Smart Discord, Strive Smart Facebook link down below. I'll see you all. Peace out. Good luck today. Hope you guys kill it.